How's it going, everyone? It is I, Anime Outlet, and this is part 5 of What If Deku Had the Byakugan. And now, before I start this What If Off, please put your What If suggestions down in the comment section below. And now, let's begin. Great job, class. Most of you performed quite well during the sports festival. However, I'm sad to announce that one of you will be seeing the exit right over there. And that one person just happens to be Manetta, the savior of the USJ, as teachers like to call it. Manetta, you may now step out. You have been demoted to Class 1C. You can still get back into the hero course, but it's going to take a lot more effort, I would like to say. Alright, class. Now welcome your new student, Shinso, here. He is going to be taking the spot of Manetta. And now, thanks to that out the way, we can now begin with the hero internships. Many of you, if you made it to the 1v1 tournament, happen to get quite a lot of these internships, but not a lot as you might have wanted. So, someone like Izuku has plenty of choice, while someone who was out in the first round may not have such a choice like Bakkatsuki over here, but he did perform quite well showing his abilities, so he's going to be able to get it, mostly because he he didn't really get out in the first round, he got out in the semifinals, showing his extreme power, and that's why he has the third most just internship requests. While Shinso doesn't have as many, not showing how much of his strength that he has, being gotten out just so quickly in the second round. So, class, come up and grab the papers that have all the internships written down and the heroes, or the biggest heroes associated with that group, which you will most likely, as a request by the heroes, be training under them. So, I suggest you pick wisely. Izuku would scroll down the massive amounts of paper as he would end up seeing a name that stuck out to him, Endeavor, otherwise known as Shoto Uchi Uchiha's father. So Izuku decided to mark this down as he wanted to go to Endeavor's agency. Now, Todoroki would also choose this as they would then decide to basically just go and train under the same just internship for in exactly a week, which is how long they would end up lasting. Bakugo, who had heard that they were going to go to Endeavor's agency, had chosen an agency quite close by, just so if anything happened, he could be right up in the mix of all of them, not wanting to be left behind, as he called it. So, once all of that was said and done, Aizawa would hand them their hero suitcases before giving them the door, saying that they now will have a week to find their way to the hero agency, which the instructions have been given to them, and yeah, that's basically it. You'll come back to class on Monday of next week. Goodbye, class. As the class would then leave, Izuku and Todoroki would then walk out of the door. Todoroki, who has been to his father's agency many times, would lead them to just the city, going on to a train before going to his father's agency. When they would arrive, Todoroki would be standing there as his father would see him, and would congratulate Todoroki on his second place, and Izuku on his first place, as the tournament was held on a Monday, and so it had just ended. They went back to the class, and then returned back to his agency. So, when they were there, Dever would just start giving them some crown rules, before he would then hand both of them just the temporary hero licenses to use their quote-unquote corks as the winners have always gotten a or the top two people have always gotten temporary hero license so that they could go out and fight crime using their corks especially if they had gotten separated from their hero of their choosing so endeavor would then tell them that they are going to be doing some intense training that they probably have been used to especially he knew todoroki has been used to it having trained him his entire life so as the week would pass they would be training hard harder and harder as the days would end up passing mostly just 1v1ing each other and izuku and todoroki would end up teaming up against endeavor who was a extremely powerful 
fire chakra user, having the Sharingan himself, he was one of the strongest chakra users there was still alive. As Izuku would see how powerful Endeavor was, as he would then ask Endeavor if he had ever heard of the Hyuga clan. Endeavor would nod his head, but he would then question it. I thought they were wiped out years ago. But I guess not, seeing as you do have the Byakugan right standing in front of me. So maybe the clan lingers on. Izuku would nod his head as Endeavor would finally decide to take them out for a little hero hunting on the last day of their internship. Their hero could also decide if they wanted to bring their internship into Saturday and Sunday, which Endeavor had yet to decide, having he would decide it at the end of Friday, wondering if his students, as he would like to call it, needed more training. Endeavor is a lot nicer in this series, as he isn't the cold, hungry person Person trying to beat All Might as he is, as Endeavor actually is stronger than All Might in this. Well, somewhat. Both of them have tied in many 1v1s, but All Might has actually come out the victor in a singular 1v1. Both of them are kind of rivals, sort of like Izuku versus Todoroki. So, with that, they had both 1v1'd many times, sort of as a publicity stunt. And out of all those times, they have pretty much tied, except All Might has ended up beating him one time, as he would go back and forth, basically tying the role. All Might would win one, then t Endeavor would end up winning one, then All Might, then Endeavor. It would go back and forth, and currently, All Might is one above. But All Might also saves a lot more lives than Endeavor, having his ability to jump around at extreme speeds using his cork, basically putting All Might a step above Endeavor as the number one hero. However, Endeavor doesn't let this get to the best of him, knowing that a number is just a number. So when they would end up going out, Izuku and Todoroki would be stretching, wondering if they were going to get any fighting in. However, all of a sudden, a Nomu would jump down off of a just a building top, slamming its fists into the ground, causing a massive smoke crowd cloud to erupt into the air. Izuku would look on it to see that him and Todoroki had been separated from Endeavor, as there was now a bunch more Nomus jumping down out of nowhere. Endeavor would end up calling in for backup, as heroes would then start to swarm in. Izuku and Todoroki would try to fight one of the Nomus, however, would end up just being chased outside of the battle zone by one of the stronger Nomus, who had then disappeared into one of the alleyways. Izuku and Todoroki now finding themselves lost in a massive city had nowhere to go. However, they could see smoke lingering in the distance, where they would try to follow this, looking into the alleyways for anything that they could find. As over the news over the past couple of days, they had found out that Stain had become quite active within the city. While looking in the alleyways, Izuku had spotted something that just didn't look right. Running into the alleyway, he would see the hero native standing there with blood dripping down his face. Izuku would look on, just wondering who could have done this to him, as it would then click. The hero killer was somewhere in the area. All of a sudden, the hero killer would then jump down from the building rooftops above as Izuku would look over to see Todoroki having his neck grabbed by the hero killer as the hero killer would then jump back over Izuku as there stood a blue-haired man that was standing right next to Stain. That person happened to be Tomura Shigaraki, the person that had been at the USJ. Suku would glare at both of them before yelling at Tor or both of them before yelling at them, What the hell do you guys think you're doing? As Shigaraki would then laugh, Oh, isn't it obvious? I'm making this fight a lot easier. It would take a lot longer for a 2v2 rather than a 1v2. As Shigaraki would then wrap his all five fingers around Todoroki's chest as it would then start to decay. As blood would then just erupt out of Todoroki's body as Shigaraki would make an estimate. I would say you have a good five minutes before your friend here dies of blood loss. So, I suggest you hurry. 
as Shigaraki would then smile sadistically towards Izuku. As soon as Izuku was about to jump in, Shigaraki would stop him. Oh, don't get something. Why don't you stay back here for a minute? As Shigaraki would throw a smoke bomb down, blinding Izuku's vision. However, Shigaraki had forgotten one major flaw, as Izuku could see right through the smoke as soon as he activated his Byakugan. Seeing right through it, he would see Shigaraki whisper something into Stain's ear, as Stain would then nod. This something happened to be Shigaraki telling Stain about the blind spot on the back of Izuku's neck. As the smoke would then disappear into the street behind Izuku, Izuku would rush in on towards Stain, as Stain would then jump above Izuku, grabbing on to the fire escape located on the side of the building next to them, as Stain would then start bouncing all around the building. As Izuku would just start to look around, spinning around, forgetting that Shigaraki was there, Shigaraki would go in for an attack. However, Izuku, clearly seeing him, would then block his attack with a kunai before stabbing Shigaraki right on the top of his hand. As Shigaraki would jump back, holding his hand in pain, as Izuku would then see Stain come at him. With his sword in hand, Izuku would then block Stain's sword with his kunai before just having Stain jump off, using the forward momentum, latching onto the building before starting his jumping around process once more. More, as Stain would finally locate himself right behind Izuku, jumping at just the perfect angle as he was right in Izuku's blind spot. Izuku would realize that Stain had just disappeared, as he would then remember. Looking behind him, he would barely block Stain as the point of his sword was just centimeters away from contacting Izuku's neck. Suzuku would jump back, just breathing heavily, as he would then realize that he had completely forgotten about the biggest flaw of the Byakugan, the blind spot. How could he have forget forgotten something so important during a battle. It was just a stupid mistake that could have ended up in his death. As Suzuku would look on, he would then feel a hand wrap around his neck, as Suzuku would realize that while he was thinking, he had completely forgotten something else. Shigaraki was still in the fight. While Stain was in his vision, Shigaraki had disappeared, and it just so happened to land in his blind spot like Stain, however grabbing Izuku's neck this time. As Shigaraki would come into view, it was already too late, as Izuku would feel his neck being gripped down hard, however with one of Shigaraki's fingers just still remaining above him. So, I have some things I'd like to talk about, Izuku. Do you think you could mention them to me? As Izuku would barely be able to see Shigaraki behind him, as Izuku would just be in just constant pain, as his neck was being gripped so hard that he could barely start to breathe. All of a sudden, however, a just flashing light would appear out of nowhere, as an explosion would be heard, as Shigaraki would be sent flying backwards, over and above Izuku, who had been yelled at to duck down, and on instinct he had ducked down, trusting the word of whoever was there, recognizing that voice, and it just happened to be Katsuki Bakugo. As Bakugo would then smile towards Izuku before saying, <laughs> Looks like I've saved you, Izuku. You're gonna owe me one after this. As Shigaraki would jump up, now in extreme pulsing pain, having the explosion landing him directly, as Shigaraki would rush towards Bakugo, just in severe rage completely neglecting the fact that Izuku was still there, as Izuku would then jump in, knocking Shigaraki out using the gentle fist, as Izuku and Bakugo would both look towards Stan, as Stan would then just completely disappear, deciding it was best not to fight a losing battle, 
completely leaving. Izuku would tell Bakugo to call an ambulance along with the police as he tied up Shigaraki in court-canceling tape, and he would then just tie up Shig or Todoroki's wounds that he had sustained from Shigaraki. As the ambulance would then arrive, they would see how Izuku, Todoroki, and just... Izuku was in some pain along with Todoroki, as they would then put Todoroki on a stretcher as he was knocked out from the pain and just the blood loss as they would cart him off to a hospital. As Izuku would be standing there, he would then... Sorry about that, guys. The police would then go up to Izuku before questioning him on about what happened. Izuku would just tell what he had saw, along with Bakugo saying what he had saw, as Shigaraki would then be put in an armored police truck and would then be shipped off to a prison for more and further questioning. Izuku and Bakugo would then just to meet up with Endeavor, who had defeated all of the Nomus along with other heroes, as Bakugo, who had chosen another hero in the area, that hero was also next to Endeavor, as both of them would just thank both Izuku and Bakugo for not doing anything stupid, as Endeavor would then just tell Izuku to follow him, as they would then rush to the nearest hospital to see how Todoroki was doing. And that's where I'm going to leave this what if off, everyone. I thank you all for watching. Part 6 is coming out tomorrow, and Part 7, and maybe even the movie, if Part 7 is the finale, will be coming out on Friday. I thank you all for watching once again, and goodbye.